to simplify radicals, first we need to understand that a radical is like a square root or a cube root. So today we're going to practice just square roots. The square root of 49 would equal 7. And the way we find that is we see that 49 can be broken down into 7 times 7. And then the square root is just going to be one of those numbers. So let's practice another one. Let's practice the square root of 50. 50 is the square root of 25 times 2. <clears throat> and 25 can be broken down into 5 times 5. So the square root of 50 can be simplified to 5. And then that 2 didn't have a duplicate, so we're just going to leave it inside the square root sign. Now let's practice simplifying variables. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of x to the fourth is x squared. Notice that what we're really doing is dividing this exponent by 2. So let's try it again. Let's try the square root of x to the 16th power. That's going to equal 16 divided by 2, which is x to the 8th power. <coughs> now let's practice with an odd exponent. If we have the square root of x cubed, that's going to equal x times the square root of x, because 3 divided by 2 is 1, and then we have a remainder of 1, so that x will stay inside the square root sign. Let's try the square root of x to the fifth power. That's going to equal x squared, because 5 divided by 2 is 2, with a remainder of 1. And let's try the square root of x to the 17th power. 17 divided by 2 is 8, with a remainder of 1. Now let's put it all together and simplify one more time. This time, we're going to add numbers and variables. Okay, so 45 can be broken down into 9 times 5, and 9 is one of those perfect squares. So we're going to have 3 on the outside and 5 on the inside x cubed, 3 can be divided by 2 one time with a remainder of 1. And y to the fourth, 4 divided by 2 is 2 with no remainder. So our answer is 3xy squared times the square root of 5x.